the door a little bit for Astralis, but it's Heroic also pick in and proves themselves that they can do it on any map uh, against Astralis. And they're playing to their strengths. So you've got to remember that this is Heroic fresh off of not playing in official competition competitions for quite a while they've got a chance to make the playoffs and the stage of IEM Rio if they win this best of three against Astralis let's kick things off there's a lot of utility here for Heroic and a gaggle of players outside B lot on the line for both teams Yavi takes first contact forced off sees a lot Stair will drop utility in response not going to slow down Heroic but Yavi's bullets do first kill is clean Stair chimes in for the second Cadian with another, and this defense looks strong. Nurse will answer back. But now he's getting pinched in from four different angles. Still managing to fight and somehow take another. Shush has made this into a 1v1. Astralis with all the openers. But Shush might be the one to close down. Slowly crawls up, and somehow Shush, with one HP, takes the pistol. Of course, of course it's going to result in a 1v1 and 1 HP being the difference between these two teams. Oh, it's going to be a blockbuster best of three if it starts like that. Astralis looks so comfortable. Jabby and Stare were getting all these kills in the site and then immediately Nurse just weaves his way in towards Bench. He provides a nuisance and a distraction for him and Shush to find multi-kills. Heroic have stolen that pistol out of Astralis' hands. That's outrageous. Basically a two on five. Nerds had nowhere to go. Full spy back from Astralis. We got rifles in spades out for the T's. They're playing the long game. And this is where we might see a bit of that Cadian flair with the calling. He's solo on B, looking to delay while the team stacks A. There's also an interesting dynamic of you've played under Cadian's leadership for so long, Shush and Tessez. You might know how he likes to call these style of rounds. But how much does Kicksound want to rely on that rather than just feeling the tempo of the game and going with the gut feeling? Shush, trying to extend out of palace yabby tucked in towards sandwich stare oh gives it a jiggle and yabby's still not revealed himself they are walking into this stack but the bombs head in the other direction that's a surely knows that stare was there and could have just cleared him and got the kill instead walks into yabby but it's all fine because the rest of heroic enter into b kadian delivers a lot of damage onto nerds that gives Astralis a good chance in this round. And they're just going to flood through. Stown looking to deny. Bomb can't get planted, but a lot of damage inflicted. Dexter gets one back. Gets two back. And that might give them the space. Although, Astralis keep pushing and Device hits the headshot. Look at the time. Shush can't do it. Astralis on the force. Take it back. And again, it feels like it's Heroic's round to lose at that point. Uh, and Astralis just pushed the issue. They know that time's a burden if they can just get into the bomb site and just delay the plant. That's enough. And it is. Dexter with two kills. Nerds is in the power position again at bench. And it doesn't matter. Overwhelmed by stare and device. Astralis battle back. And that is gifted to them as well by Caden, who gets a kill on basically the second dink. Onto Heroic, trying to creep in, encroach onto the bomb site. This time the defense holds, and it has to be a force back from Heroic. Still shocked about Tessus's play there. It really felt like he had a free kill on the stair. He wanted to try and make it the multi, but it ends up costing him. Shush at least keeps that AK alive. They're looking like they want to crunch onto this A bomb site. Shush just lurks out, does spot a player behind default. Stare. Flashbang actually kind of helps out Kickstand there. It's down. Can't get more than one, and they have crunched through successfully. Yabby is close by, and he can deny the bomb. No one's providing the coverage. Great Deagle shot. But Kadian is so far removed, it might not matter. He's going Palace uh, and not Ramp. 
So this is exactly where Kixon was just residing. But a 1v3... If it was like the odds are completely against him. I love the way Heroic approached that. Just a contact play through connector and then that means the extremities can lurk out. Kicks and hits some bangers with the deagle. And the kit all the way at front connector. There is no chance. He's only hoping for further damage, keeping the economy honest for this T side. But these trades, this back and forth is only going to favor Heroic in the long run. So many more ways to make money. Astralis battered and bruised. And they have to earn every single one of these rounds. We'll claim a kill. And a second. So a good amount of money being made from Kaden on the wave. Why That's enough for an M4. That's actually a significant damage. Device also had 1,700 as the round ended. So he'll be sitting relatively okay. I can't believe Kixon gets that kill on Steph. Fully blinded. I think Stair's a player that you want to be keeping an eye on. It feels like he's really adapting quite well to Cadian's leadership. 1.4 rating versus Eternal Fire, 1.19 versus Spirit in that series they lost. Less said about the Vitality game, stat-wise, maybe the better, but good to see he's thriving alongside Stan and Yabby. Yeah, two M4s. Device has dropped one over, so Stars can kill, still keep this very competitive. I wonder when one of us is going to slip up here with the heroic Cadian Astralis. It's like mentally, it's uh, that's really hard to, to bridge right now. It will happen at some point. And I think between us, we can have one of them. Big nade. And Nerds and Kixan are just going to disrespect it anyway. The boost up player of Device. That could be the outlet. Kadian battling in from default. You never expect him Device now. And Yabby still doing the damage at the back of the bomb site. Dexter thrown into a 1v4 and can't get passed down on short. That was a quick dismissal of that B attempt from Heroic. Just so many players. And that's always. It, it feels like whenever you go into a bomb site and he calls that right stack, you just going to be stumbling into five players. Even though they clear out one, another steps in. Good distraction play. Kadeen does a lot of damage, gets a kill, bait in the pistol, and then you have the rifles from short doing the work. Of course, Heroic have to force back. One of these teams needs two consecutive to end this. It's been a, a blister in Starts of Mirage. Heroic's outlet in the last couple of rounds has been this A bomb site. This is the first time Astralis haven't really pressured mid with too much contact. And again, it's another one of these Cadian calls where you gamble and leave an extra player waiting in the wings. This time it's on the A bomb site. Stair creeps close towards ramp. He can't go around this corner because Shush will deal with him. Nurse just curls forward. This AK, the strongest piece of weaponry. Begging for this first kill. Flash forward is good. Sets up stair and down. Drops Nurse. Takes a second to kick stand. Will punish by running through. And that is a nice shot. M4 collected. But stair immediately quells the bleeding. And then Device is there to finish the job. Hickson Seagull hits diff, but the rest of Heroic don't find anything. I think that is all of Kixon's kills coming in two rounds, and they've all been on Deagles. Astralis' team play off each other on the CT side is fantastic. And if they can start to translate that into T-sided rounds, then they're going to start to cook. Because as soon as Stown gets this kill, you've already got the movement of him going in towards jungle, creating the gap. And having another opportunity in towards Shaw, they are so tightly entwined with each other, Astralis, that Heroic have got no safe capacity for a trade. Tess says in under, dealt with by Stown. He's 7 and 4. Yeah, Stown's a bit of a Cadian merchant. I think we all know this at this stage. So he's, I think, you know, he'll be very happy to have Cadian back calling the shots. Kaden is the only one over here. 
but it is just the Glock, so ideally for him, he can clean up a few kills. And takes them all clean from KD. A nice 4K, he's got AK in the bank. And Astralis break away from Heroic. I think this game is also interesting. Which like, uh, Kadian comes yeah, into this Astralis roster with a lot of question marks yeah. around it, but also with a big point to prove. And considering how Copenhagen went, for them to come into IEM Rio, sure, it's a best of one and a, and a best of three, but if they're able to make a stage game and easily put themselves into the quarterfinal spots at IEM Rio, that'll be a big boost for this team who you feel like need a good place in at an IEM, because after this, you go from event to event to event. There's no rest by, uh, no rest for the wicked, which means you need results immediately to trust the process. Honestly, a win over Eternal Fire and then a win over Heroic, that would already be a massive boon for this team. Stair pushing, Shush is holding for this. Stair will get away, Nerds finds the entry device. Dropped in middle, Nerds continues to prowl forward. He's cut open the middle of the bomb sites. Splits the heroic defense and Yabi feels the need to fight forward. Kadian actually removes Nerds with the HE. So all of that room that he enabled suddenly starts to slip away. Yabi spots out the player on stairs. Shush is slowly edging forward, but Stair is repositioned and he has no idea, but Shush still takes Yabi. Stair needs to do everything here, and he is delivering. Dexter puts it into the one-on-one. -on -one. 40 seconds, some time to work with. Notice Kadian was last seen towards window. Kadian's read it. Kadian's already cutting him off at underpass. He will be here in time, and Dexter needs to clear, needs to consider underpass being a possibility, but Kadian swings up at the perfect moment. And when he is locked in, when he is in flow state, it feels impossible to outbrain the IGL. Kadian's the clutch master. We know he's always good for it. Not quite the uh, 1VXs that you, you often see, but nice and simple. Outreads Dexter. He even gets locked in the head there, so it could have got a little scary. Big round from Stair, more than anything. Pushes deep, gets spotted, stays alive, disengages, and then resets under dark. I mean, they're just not expecting him to be in that position at Shadow. A double up from that position gives Astralis the chance, allows Kadian to set up in the 1v1. Got to give a lot of credit to Yabby there as well, because him pushing forward out of CT, getting that kill on top stairs, enables the space to be taken from stair and allows him to go back to under Palace. Because whilst he does the hard work, it is Yabby out positioning Heroic to ensure that they can validate the round later on. And whilst we had a back and forth, it is still Astralis in control firmly when it comes to the finances and the round count. Yabby... Now feels emboldened to go and peek in towards top middle. He needs to be careful here against the pistols. Just going to sit around it. Doesn't go any further. Just edging. Gets exactly what he wanted. Although, yeah, he is caught out by that hero Galil, which reveals itself. But finding two and shush, what a shot. Device silence. Shush looks for a second, but Stair will put him down. And if Stair pushes all the way through, there's a chance he could cut Heroic off. How far does he want to go? Doesn't look like he wants to extend any further into spawn. They are piecing this together. They are eliminating angles now because Stown's re-pushed in towards middle. He's got all of Connector. Stairs cleared out all of Palace. And with Kadian holding over towards B apps, you feel like they've got to be top mid or B. So that's the call from Kadian. But this all could be misdirection. Or it could be the perfect read because Heroic reset into short, into two players with 25 seconds left. That's the perfect call. Stair's position in Palace means that even if they go A, you know, in the post plant, in the retake, you've got a really good positional advantage. 
Stal needs to be careful he doesn't get hard cleared here. That's the big issue. Oh, the spray does convert. Leaves it to Nerds. A wide swing, but time's going to be a problem. Kadian doesn't reveal himself and... Oh, Kadian. Naughty boy. Oh, <laughs> Gets the kill. Almost oh, doesn't, but it wouldn't have mattered. The round was won, but he will convert the knife. Yeah, just. <laughs> he got it. He got it. Uh, that's the most important thing. Another good read. And again, it's all because there's so much flexibility in this mid round from Astralis. And Stare, I think, is the correct call for him to go and clear ramp. And then he goes into Ballas. And that allows down the room to clear top middle. Looking towards underpass, going towards connector. You eliminate so many angles there. For Astralis, there has to be this B finish. Another timeout being used by Heroic. It's starting to escape them, this first half and this game. First moments, we get to see Dexter on the AWP, though. We saw how much of a menace he was on the T side of Dust 2 with that AWP. Him and Tessas, who, again, a player that has yet to really come online here. At all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Needs to kind of get off that goose egg ASAP. Because he was the whole reason why Heroic were able to beat G2. Come on, guys. There we go. The device up in play. Kadian, spam low. Let's go looking. Doesn't see too much. Heard that jump if you're nuts, though, in top con. Are you ready for device posted on this angle? Is anyone going to give him the satisfaction? Yes. But somehow that only does 20 damage, not even to Tessez. It's downforce back. That's looking forward. Heichi does a lot of damage. They do get some space. Stout is just putting his face in this smoke, waiting for this walkthrough, expecting it. But Heroic are not intending to go this direction. Two players already on beast. Down catches the lurk. Device hits his shot. And already a third rotation. Stair is on the way. Bomb looks to commit out of B. And Astralis have everybody here. Even Stown's on the way. Read like a book. He needs to be mindful of the short though. Oh. Oh! Divide. Maybe it's just all Device and Cadian will finally reveal himself out from the bench. I thought that would go wrong. Because Heroic had been lurking, pushing up short. There was a timing window, but Device hits every damn shot. And Kadian is well and truly in Kicksand's head because every single call he's made all first half has been correct. Yeah, CT side looks phenomenal. And after some iffy opening rounds, back and forth. Kadian, 13 frags. And with all the correct reads, Device now gets a chance to maybe get some more orb shots, smoked off. Tessis gets his second off the Tech 9. It's an M4 for Shush. That's 2 HP off that spam. What do Heroic do? They got good positional advantage with kicks in. And nerds, but how do you utilize this? And how do you deal with the dynamicism of Astralis? You see, Cadian has just pushed in towards B apps immediately and has now got ahead of this rotation. But he's still the only one here. Stare will deal with nerds finally, but there's still a player that can be in jungle. Kicksan, he's so good with pistols. But Heroic, they need to just get by Cadian, and they will manage it. They will swarm him, try to deny him. Bomb goes down. Tessez will finally hit the shot on him. A three versus two. And if you're Astralis, you're probably thinking about saving this one. It yeah, looks like Hero Heroic have finally broke through. It's with the Tech Nines of all weapons. But they convert off that opening kill in middle from Tessez. Mentioned that we kind of need to see him start to arrive on this T side, given how strong he was against G2. Well, that's a nice round delivered by an opening for him and a critical second kill. If he goes down to Cadian, completely different round. This device saves the AWP. Money is still good for Australis. Dude, 
do utilize that advantage they get with Kixen getting into window. Yeah, it feels like that kill was absolutely necessary. Especially when players are coming in from connector, stair finding nerds here. And Cadian, you see him get one. You see the initial jiggle being missed out by Tessez. You think, oh no. Because the form Caden is currently on, the confidence he's feeling, getting every single one of these calls right, you'd expect him to nail a second. And another feature piece for Astralis is that they can always bring out a secondary AWP. Window smoke missed as well from Heroic. So Device has got free real estate. Yeah, Astralis can bring out three AWPs if they want. We know Stalin is a hot hand with it. Stare under pressure. Fast they come. Even half blind, he still gets to kill onto Nets. Flames come forward, but the support is here. Only for a moment, Kixen delivering a lot. Stown needs to find this kill. Everyone is wide, and Kixen will be the one that prevails. And now you've got two AWPs. Bomb's not committed. There's actually a lot of time for Heroic to work with, but you don't want to play yourself. You've got a really nice spot with Tessa in connector. Kixen can shut down the bomb. If he looks back at ramp as Dexter's crossing, the round can still be on. Instead, he holds the close peak device. We'll make that jump. And then Tess says should be confirming the kill. Now this feels improbable for Cadian. You can hear them converging on towards the site. Dexter throws the bomb over to Kixan as well because he's low HP. They even use a smoke. And yeah, can't break it. Can't even wipe the smoke with the grenade. Heroic, if they get five out of this, considering how one-sided it was looking at stages for Astralis in this first half, I think they'll be very content with that. It looked good initially here on the hog with Stan and Stair getting a couple, but kicks in, really delivering. Removes Yabby and then gets that belabored follow-up onto Stan. Big investment for Astralis into that one with the double AWP means no AWP into this one comes at you fast. And so does Heroic in towards top middle. Dexter gives the AWP a look over towards B. The flashbangs aren't good enough to stop the down spam. So even blows exchange. Heroic coming out a little bit worse for wear, but at least they've got the mid control. But keep your eyes on ramp because Yabby's already pushing. Again, it's so dynamic. As soon as they lose one area of the map, Astralis are looking for more. Three players grouped up towards the ramp to lock in that control. The thing is, it means B is incredibly weak. Cadian's taken a forward position, so at least they have that going. But short is exposed. Oh, and device, flush forward. Nothing he could do there. Tessess now scales. Cadian might catch him. Oh, there it is. Gets that kill, spots the second, up short. He can find nerds, this round is definitely still good for Astralis. Rotations are on their way, Kixen is looking to cut them off. Cadian's smoke is definitely causing issues, but Kixen, even with low HP, bests down. Yabby gets that kill eventually, and Cadian finds that kill onto nerds. That's what he was looking for, and then the follow-up headshot. Cadian surely has done enough here. Stair slips into the bomb site and drops Shush. Dexter has two HP and two kills to find. First is gifted. No stare was present, but time is the big issue. And stare hits the shot and a four half for Astralis.
whilst all eyes are on the reunion of the old heroic roster, my eyes turn to stare because he's been phenomenal in a lot of these anchor positions. Kadian leading the charge with over 120 ADR. Everything seems to be going right for Astralis so far as they double the score lead over Heroic. Yeah, masterclass of a CT side. All the calls look good from Kadian. The right gambles at the right time. Now it's for the 2v5 from Heroic to kick off the pistol. Still ends up being eight for Astralis. Now T-side's where the questions are. Let's see if they've got any answers. Deep smoke to connector, late one. No, just a bit of fake util. Dex has given opportunities, but it's all by design. P250 of Stown draws first blood. Nerds gets one back over the top. Really cool way to play this, and you got Kadian lurking, not securing, but will adjust. On to Tess says, Nurse will come back and deal with him. Player disadvantage. Now for Astralis, you've got confirmed info of Nurse, and these other two players are wrapping CT. Time going to be an issue because the walls are closing in, and Device now needs to clutch up. We'll find a way to try and isolate angles, but the crossfire isn't good enough. And suddenly, Kicksan, you feel like there's maybe a chance for the device, but he runs out of bullets and Kicksan just sticks the smoke in front of him. Yeah, the big problem there is that there's a kit in play. So even though device gets those beautiful two kills, Kicksan was sticking that defuse from the start and was already two seconds into it. Device's shots needed to be exact. If you wanted a chance there, just no time to close the distance. You can see it's over halfway done, spans out, does not connect. Heroic, get that round at the back of the diffuse, but Astral has given a darn good look in. So of course, we continue with the four spies. Wouldn't have it any other way. Shush in sandwich. Nerds just being this flex player to try and help out middle or A. Whichever duo needs his services first, but it's Astralis with the mid control. And a dribbled smoke forward. That's not going to put them off. They might even boost. Nerds has got to be so careful about the possibility of the back door. Well, just an exchange of bullets. Sound, in fact, takes the first blow of the round from short. So he'll be forced to the sidelines for the most part. And Kickstone pushes his own smoke. It's bold. And he is able to get away off the back of it. I think Katie might have heard That's that funny. reload. It's all a ruse. You're just trying to see what you can try and achieve here. Bench player bails out Kicksan. But as that contact was being taken by Kicksan, you also had Shush pushing in towards ramp. This will be the, the final commitment here. Nice shot out of Yabby. But that will be the only shot out of Astralis. Only one casualty heroic. They're secure. Yeah, we get to see a rare 99 in one decal headshot there onto Degster. He was up on ticket, got hit by the dig, but didn't take him down. Good timing for Tessis on that swing. Kicksang was about to get hard cleared. And Yabi also was about to get that kill onto Degasa too. So a lot of bailing out going on from the heroic side. Going to put Astralis onto the eco. This is going to be a one round game very shortly. And oh my God, Stare. Oh. Never want to rule out these Deagles, especially when you're giving them chances. But with Kadian being boosted in the window, Tessez is keeping account of it. Should be a one round game, but any economic damage is really good here for this T side to keep Heroic's economy in check. It's interesting how Heroic are still willing just to continuously fight all of these angles, just even up against the low buy. They want to exert some authority on the server. They want to get a bit of respect out of Cadian and Astralis. Dexter's in such a powerful angle that if they come out ramp, he should have them all dead to rights. Yeah, it is a, a powerful angle, but it's also one without any cover, so he could be in danger. Oh, maybe the danger is Dexter. Oh, yeah. The danger man indeed. A quad kill mop up from Dexter. One round between Heroic and Astralis. Let's see this gun round then, because again, you got to remember that it was back and forth on that first half. And sure, it's not really panned out in the same manner here. 
between Astralis and Heroic is it's Heroic being on the bounce. But when the gun rounds came in, that's where Astralis did their best work. So I have to see how it takes shape and unfolds here. On this T side, no AWP for Device, but there is one for Dexter. Definitely earned it. Oh, insane. That play across. Device. Actually bailed out by the flash, avoids all the util. Kadian does fall underpass from Nertz's aggression. Rogue really crunch on middle and they find success off it. They'll be happy just to hold this control as well. Astralis will begin to look elsewhere. The bomb withdrawn from TV room by stair. Be interesting to kind of see what Yabby gets up to. Uh, and Astralis, they keep changing their mind about where they want to go. Originally, everyone was grouped up in towards ramp, but instead it's going to be this mid split based off Yabby's positioning. And you hope that the smokes from Stown will at least give a, a little bit of coverage or a little bit of a delay here. Just a wide swing out of Tessas. That's valuable info, especially with 45 seconds left. Going A though. You're going into a stack. Heroic have made the right call. Kicks in. Now in the heads. Tessa swings out. Drops one. Is traded immediately. But that gives up the ghost. You know exactly what's coming through. But Yabi removes Dexter. Nerds is ready to push through. Yabi's taking another. When will Nerds activate? He's looking for the timing. They can't see them. Oh, he doesn't need to. A spray through the box removes device. And Nerds is destroying Astralis. Yabi would need everything, but it's Nerds who takes them all. Unbelievable. Unbelievable from Nerds. Tries to deny the bomb, does it successfully, and that sends Astralis just scrambling. And they're already looking pretty scrambled, to be honest, in that mid round because they change their mind. They go back in towards middle. It feels like they're a little bit underprepared. Yabby with the crucial kills to unlock this A bomb site. But then Nurts is the locksmith, comes back in and rebolts the locks. Not even a bomb plant. Insanity from Nerds. Yeah, we've done so much work. It felt like Astralis had found a way just by walking into the stacked bomb site. Nerds finds the perfect timing to strike. I can't believe he denies that bomb going down like that. No, he they, they did get it. My bad. But yeah, the, the first instance, that's ridiculous. I thought that was just they didn't have any extra money, but they did. And that's why they can scramble together these AKs. That loss bonus on full heroic, four rounds in a row. Looking for that T side success, and is it going to come in a palace pop? Mm, maybe not. Look at Nerds. He's that already one. top middle. He might be able to hear all of this, though. Maybe not. Smoke's being lined up. Kadian is lurking in underpass. A well-timed smoke from Heroic in towards Palace that completely shuts down what Astralis wanted to do. Yeah, this nerf is really uncomfortable. You've still got one more smoke on stairs, so he's called back to deploy that. This just has to be a deep connector smoke or something of the like to give you the space. Nurse is just pushing in your spawn. Heroic know exactly what's about to take place. Astralis, again, this needs to be just the cleanest entries ever because everything else is against you. 20 seconds, down opens up. Shush, shuts down. Kicks in, will get Katie in. A nurse hasn't even been needed yet. We'll come through at the tail end. Heroic only lose one. Astralis looking lost on the T side. It's crazy how different the CT and the T side can look out of Astralis because you've got so many of these mid-round pushes on the CT side. They're always, it feels like they're in control of the tempo. And then you go onto T side and that's exactly what you do on the T side. You're supposed to generate space. You're supposed to make a lot of control happen. And Heroic are being really good. Again, at just denying this mid attack 
from Astralis every single time Astralis go in towards middle. They either met with a Nertz headshot or no one in middle at all. They done a really good job at reinforcing the bomb sites, playing from a distance and keeping their utility. Astralis are starved of map control, and then when they even want to go into and execute into a site, they have to walk through Heroic's utility to even find an outlet. A lot of conversations being had here in the Heroic camp. Stow and quite a vocal stare even chiming in. Good to see him taking an active role in some of the decision making. This is a half buy from Astralis. Stow gets the hero AK. Nerds gets aggressive. Wants to take the fight to them and a clean opener onto Stair. Dexter removes Stown. Heroic AK hits the deck. Dexter hits another. Heroic will be on double digits in just a moment. Boom. <laughs> Nerds on well, 100 ADR. Dexter not far behind him. Kicksand, despite not having that many kills, has been influential in his utility placement. And he's also got a very similar ADR to the rest of his team. Like This is a very good heroic. This is exactly what you want out of this team who's been starved of officials with their full lineup. It's good to see that the floor is as high as potentially the ceiling. And it's good to see the Tessa's resurgence as well. Because remember, he was like 0-8 at one stage. Reborn on the defense. And the Astralis need to revitalize because otherwise, well, this T side is going to come up with nothing and Heroic are going to walk away with their map pick. It seems so aggressive into B apps and it gives Heroic so much room to maneuver the rest of the map. In fact, they push both extremities. Yeah. This is the one round they've let Astralis have mid control as well. And this is so deliberate because it sets this up. And where Nert's got so much leverage, walking through middle and coming around in towards ramp, he's gone, oh, okay, guys, well, they're not clearing this. Nert's gets exactly what he's asked for a kill one towards Kadian, and that sets up Shush even more. I reckon know exactly where Astralis are. Yeah, Nert's actually wants to kind of delay them here, force them to go elsewhere because Shush is slowly in the back lines. Oh. There is the kill he was looking for. Second, beautiful shush on the silence. Device about to get HE'd, if not met by the bullets. A quad kill from shush. It feels like every single heroic player is good for a quad. I'll tell you what, Astralis's T side just feels very sluggish. And it feels like they're trying to work out in the moment where they want to end up. And this sort of plays in part with the way that Kadian likes to call and what... Ragger was saying on the interview where it was like, look, Kenny likes to feel out the game. He likes to value the, the process of each map and then figure out where they want to go. The thing is, when you're not adding a variety, when you're not adding enough acceleration, where it's only coming through these sort of half buys, and even then, it feels slow, it feels limited. Heroic have got the space to make all of these moves. You weren't giving them that on the CT side. You're not being dynamic enough here. Now pushing smokes. Stown gets the trade, but surely Nerds will find this. No, what? <laughs> Stown will actually win that out. One of the most awkward rules you'll see in a minute. And look at the time it's come. Stair hits one with the dig. Kicks in and Dexter. Kicks in looking to swing this corner. Stair hits the lights out shot. Said every heroic play is good for the quad. Dex is required of one here. Now they know where he is. It's going to be straight into B. Estelle's got the lock in, surely. Back turned. Uh, and that was Astralis throwing cautions to the wind a little bit and just taking a chance. Uh, and also a, a tale of, I guess, misfortune for both parties on that stairs Tetris fight. Like, that was ridiculous. Like, that should have been a trade every single day of the week. Nerts and Stown, the two players that have got some of the highest mechanical ability on the server, produced that moment. And that's enough to, to get Astralis the player advantage. And that's the round they win. That's their first round on T-side, and it comes off whatever that was at A. Yeah, sometimes it takes something a little stupid. Okay, this is going to be really bad for Astralis. 
Shushes charges forward, flashbangs galore, and they demolish the setup. Dexter, oh my god, just about lives. Gabby might not be given the same grace. Heroic didn't like the way that last round went, so this one a little more aggressive. Giving Stown chances, Nurse gets his revenge. If I'm not mistaken as well, I think Cadian has had one kill this whole half. So now all eyes are on him. We'll find Shush. Drops the smoke forward in towards top connector, but Heroic have already repositioned. And again, it falls to these players getting active. Look at Kicksand. He's in B apartments. Nerds hugs close to this top connector smoke. And Dexter has this cross to at least put this into a 1v2. Kicksand's angle is king and Heroic are on map point. Kicksand lives in those apartments. It feels like almost every round he is up there. If there's no sign of Australis early, Kicksand just moves in. Heroic started this round strongly with a nice double. There was a chance for Astralis. Dexter hits a critical shot though, and that kind of ended things. Last time out called for Astralis. Three chances for Heroic to close. Only one posted on this T side. The flashbangs layered in towards mid there was sublime from Heroic because it masks all the audio on the first one and then the second one is set up to completely blind and deal with the players that were top middle. Boosted or not, all of Astralis would have been completely caught unawares. So the outcome would have still been the same. What a shame. Analyze pre-game that the woes of the T side for Astralis. It looks like it continues here on Mirage. Flashbang really good onto Dexter, but there's opportunities for him to collect, and he will. Onto Cadian first, and then Device. A 5v3. This feels like the beginning of the end. The first blood drawn to Heroic. Heroic or not. The double open is constantly, but Astralis gets something back for a moment. Dexter gets out of the fire. Bomb planted, down, not anticipating Nerds. Yabby required to step up and Heroic pause. They're waiting for Kixon to run all the way through T-Spawn. There is no safe sanctuary for Yabby. Maybe needs to take the fight forward. Can't convert that first kill. Nerd swings. Yabby hits the shot, but there is Kixon. He'll come through on the flank and confirm it for Heroic. CT side lockout. Astralis empty on that second half. Astralis side. Let's see if Astralis can show us something on their map pick. And they got a chance to redeem themselves on that T side immediately. Kicks and spots players. Nurse takes the contact. It's a double donut and a dangerous filling from Heroic. Three kills instantaneously. Device is never ready for Kicks and just tucked in the corner. This has been a disastrous start. You can say that again. Dex is the only one that takes damage. Decimation. Astralis go fast into middle and fast to their deaths. There's Tess Nice little double up from him. Kixan had an opportunity to go for a knife kill, but no, he decides to confirm the round. Beautiful shots from Tess Three between the two of them. The thing is, if you want to go aggressive for uh, Astralis, you, you are walking into Nerds, Tessez, who, who love to get up in your face. And you got dependable hands of Kixan and Shush that can just anchor down. You know Dexter loves to fight. Clean and simple, 2-0. Are we keeping tally of the total number of T rounds that Astralis are going to achieve here in this series? Because currently it's one.
Well, they got none versus Vitality in their first game. So, so far, Tally's not great. Obviously, against Telefire here in Rio. They're able to get a couple. Astralis beat Eternal Fire, Eternal Fire beat G2, Perog beat Astralis. What does that mean? It still means anyone can beat anyone. Nothing changes. Nerds also doesn't. Two opening kills. Fighting in every direction from middle. A menace to deal with. And of course he goes for more. In goes Tessez, but down away. So at least there is a little bit of resistance. But it's heroic the blink first. They just leave. They don't want to get caught in this choke point. So they completely reset. Device might have heard some scampering. But ultimately, heroic haven't lost any map control. What's the call here from Astralis? They go to B. It's dangerous territory. If they drop into mid and go A, Shush is the closest defender and he's just tucked into red. We're going to see if he can hear a sound. Q Nuts takes control and with Shush hearing that utility rain out, Heroic know what's going on. Shush tries to get tricky with it. Yabby anticipating the push. So Astralis looking in a good position to get this first T round. Stan and Yabby both just catching off their former teammates, knowing these are the moves they like to make. Dexter on the elevation. Yabby not prepared. Already moves into a rifle. So this 2v2 has got legs. It's just the position in here of both Stown and Device. This crossfire needs to hold strong. First instance of it is Stown taking heads and taking names. Device not even needed. And Astralis will post their first T-round on Ancient. I got a little worried there when the smoke is to CT instead of Donut, but that's enough to then isolate. Stown can just look towards Donut, almost catches Nerds throwing the utility, and that's enough to give him the information. Good attempt from Dexter gets that first kill ready for it, but Stown holds strong. 3k from him and punish on the aggression. Heroic were in the driver's seat that round. Now they're put on notice. Money's not great. But they'll still go for it. They'll still get aggro. Yabby. Oh, there was nearly a chance for a lineup. But at least Kadian alleviates pressure in towards middle. But you still need to get by Nerts. And he's proven to be incredibly painful for Astralis. Utility trying to keep him penned into the corner. The spam not good enough. And he comes out better than that is down. Stralis decide, let's just avoid nets. A group into CT. Heroic takes space elsewhere. Everyone's investigating. And Heroic are now going to start to suspect it. There's only two ways they could have gone. It's either elbow or it's through red. So they split up. But now Heroic are very out of position and Astralis are going to find an empty bomb site. I wonder if there's ever a consideration for a save here. Just because you've got low money, you've got no utility to go for this retake. But Kicksan will make moves and deal with the IGL on the other end. Advantage heroic. It's down waiting for this swing to come. Kicks in, playing patient, waiting for Shush and Nerds. Stairs hearing them. Coming this over, and Stown gets that opportunity. Now stairs, time to strike, misses at the first time of asking. Stown spray goes wanting. Shush gets both, and Heroic, despite giving the space to Astralis, reclaim it with ease. That's a, a little bit sloppy from Astralis. Seen a couple of instances of that now, but it is very windy on the B site there for Stown and Stair. Yeah, Heroic, again, are doing such a good job uh, consistently making the map feel claustrophobic for Astralis, cutting off early access points. It's what you typically get out the CT sides, but they left it all open in that round. Let Nerds play a uh, more passive line, and then they went and retook the shelf in towards the mid portion. Kicks and killing Kadian. 
basically confirmed that that was always going to be the retake efforts. There we'll find Nerds. That's a big scalp to take. And suddenly Astralis swarm A. A cheeky kill. Stown tries to tap out Dexter. Easier said than done. And Kadian will get that trade. No smoke on CT. Just a HE thrown forward. Shush takes liberties with the space. Stair not aware. And Shush has taken down both. Plus he saw Kadian cross. So they know that he is penned in Temple. Kixon's going to clear this in a moment. And with that, the bomb and most certainly the round. Yabby, a tech nine and no position. Again, Astralis look like they've found a good advantage to work from. But as soon as they try and capitalize on it, they can't get past these heroic members. It's just the speed of not only the rotation, but just the reaction out of Heroic. And I think this directly counters what Kadian wants to achieve. Not sure if there, there was any missed comms there as well as the nade flies over, but you can sort of see. Shush. No one looks back from Donut. Astralis reduced to just pistols. One nade, one smoke. It's, it's actually ridiculous to me how, like, one-sided all these maps are when it comes to Astralis. Like, how, how do you only have a handful of T-rounds in total since Cadian's joined? Yeah, there's two, two rounds of Counter-Strike you have to play Astralis. So the question is, you know, what was the result for spirit just a, a one-off? Is that spirit being weak at the moment and having their struggles? Good shot from Stown. Is it just that Astralis need a little bit more time in the tank? Very new roster, got to remember, and they've still got plenty of good aimers. This push from Kixon should be enough to disrupt. Kadian has armor, but Dexter has the shot. Three kills for him. They survive against the pistols. They're playing so well, heroic. And I really think uh, a lot of a lot of people in the community, obviously we've not seen this roster at full strength, but they do undervalue them. The project is finally taking shape uh, and they are putting Astralis on notice. Every time you think you've cleared one angle, there's someone in the back lines. There's, there's always an extra piece here for Heroic. And for Astralis, we didn't see much on that T side of Mirage about them just executing, going straight onto a bomb site. Again, we are entering this territory of them just consistently defaulting and then trying to figure out the end goal in the mid round. I wonder how much of this could be elevated if they go for some executes early, they try and uh, maybe go towards A. That's becoming meta at the moment where the, the CTs, you see how Aurora are consistently pushing in towards mid and B. Like an A pop, they did try to do that on contact, but maybe with just smokes could be a, a lot more beneficial because the minute you keep giving Heroic all of these fights and the space to work, you're already losing the round before you can even get it going. Yeah, it feels like on some level, they're just trying to get their default working. You know, they really want to try and perfect it or at least get something reasonable. Kadian has a good chance on Tenet. Yeah, not expecting him over the top so quickly. Dexter gets one back through the smoke. Blow on it with the HE reveals position. Kadian flies around the corner. Tessa has seen him. An easy wide swing. Device will slip in, but this will be covered off. Shush and Tessa's group. Device has a good chance to get on the board here. Sees the shadows, knows that they're coming. How does Tessas win that? Kixan should be dead to rights. They should be clearing uh, him here. Oh no, they've overlooked him. And Tess has swung early. So Kixan now set up to succeed. Yabby would need a clutch of a lifetime. Can scoop up the bomb and get it planted. Shush waits for Dexter as he crosses over towards Long. Yabby needs to have this fight and he spins. Dexter, where can he be? Yabby's got the right read, but it's Dexter with the collection. NT from Yabby. But Astralis still can't kickstart this T side. Dexter is undeniable. 
Kicks and over. Loic Australis actually had a much better opportunity in that round if they just cleared their corners. Falls to Yabby in the 1v3 and gives it a good look in. Has the right read, but Degsa peeks under his crosshair. And this started with the opening kill for Australis. Tess says this clear on device. That's unreasonable. Device can't find that. When you see from Tess's POV, it does actually look quite easy for him. Which is kind of surprising, given the angle and the shadow and everything else. He was everywhere. He was absolutely everywhere in that round. He even went back to B and got that kill that set Kicksan up. And yeah, I hear what you're saying about this default. And sure, they're now starting to get a little bit more leverage in towards middle. But time's running out. You're already 6-1 down. Stair will creep in towards red room. The rest of Astralis will have a little bit of a, a peek in, and that's a big find. The Vice's Molly gets rid of Shush, but Dexter's here already providing cover. Astralis just pushed through smoke, so you just walk through them. Stair was low HP, so you can kind of forgive him for that one. Cadian's just out there. Yeah, they're going that they way. Walk through the A main smoke. Waiting for Stan to get that kill in middle, and now they have the open runway. Dexter is not going to be ready for this temple play if he does push out into CT. This has to be the second. Surely, Cadian will confirm it with this kill. But think about how much of that round is based on just a smoke push. Because, it, of course, it is the, the setup in towards Red Room. You're putting attention onto it. You've got the device molly that, that gets the kill initially. But all of that distraction relies on Cadian hitting the timing on A. And I guess that's what the, these T sides can look like for Astralis. But they feel like flashing the pan rounds. And you've got to rely a lot more on your default succeeding. Yabby will confirm the kill once it kicks in. So no one saves for Heroic. The money's not in the greatest state of affairs because despite winning a number of these rounds, uh, a couple of them have run close for Heroic. Yeah, Yabby's 1v3 attempt has sent reverberations in the pockets of Heroic. We'll see what they have to work with. There's not going to be a lot this hunt. Massive. Yeah, the force buy-in is not pretty. Astralis, they can catapult themselves here to a reasonable T-half. For all the criticisms of it. Device gets his AWP and gets a nice kill. Has to go 90 degrees to find it. Nerds will get success with the 5-7. Gets himself an AK. Stown's in hot pursuit though. Oh, we'll catch him. Just the smoke fades. Yabby's opened up B. Tessa still lies in wait. A T smoke lands top. And Stown ready? Ish. Drop the smoke sound. Stop fumbling. All good. Oh, ouch. That's dicey, though. <laughs> that is dicey. Heroic are, are making Astralis work for every single one of these rounds. Nice shot out of device. Just a snap back on towards shelf. And then the stout pursuit of Nerts to make sure he can't get involved. Awesome triple. That's more like it, says Cadian. That's not. We're going to push out a main step. We've been struggling to get off the board. A lot of assists, but not finding the frags. Might get a few ecos here. Boost some confidence. Nice little spray. Ah, oh, and the Glock to finish the job. Well handled against the Glocks. Four for Astralis. All right. They're doing it. Um, for, for, yeah, for all the criticism, they, they have survived. And they have broken the economy. So that was one full gun round that they've now got. And that's now elevated uh, and forced a timeout out of Heroic. Saw can be put in the spotlight for 30 seconds. Let's remind Heroic of what was going right. The aggression, the disruption of this default. To not let Cadian get a clear picture as to the state of play. 
and where the positions of these heroic players are. No AWP for Dexter, but he's been pretty proficient on the rifle to be fair to him. Device uncontested though is always a scary prospect. Yeah, heroic have been pretty relentless in metal. We've seen that Stair is keen for that fight consistently, so I imagine Nerds will want to try and get the best of him again here. Without any support, he feels a little worried about it. Device took the spawn to try and get that pick as well, so Nerds does well to avoid that fate. Three players started B. Flashbang. Oh. Was brilliant from Heroic, but Cadian will still get the best of kick, San. A drive by Dink from Tessez. But it looks like Astralis want to scale in towards B. Put off initially by the utility and device. Will find Shush. So a lot of control. A two player advantage here for Astralis. The two players still on B, and Nerds isn't far off on the rotation. There's still a real chance this could be fumbled by Astralis. Tessis swings and an absolute hit through the back lines of Astralis. Two fall and he still stands tall. Stairs got A, so you can reposition and you can move away, but Nurt's in red room. Oh, what's ahead of it? But it's the vice that takes his head off. Dexter's got to be aware now that surely there's a player deeply nestled in towards his spawn. Otherwise, why would they rotate? Stair hits the shot anyway. Tess says 1v3. Unconfirmed damage on all of these players. Look at how low the life points of Astralis are. But it doesn't matter. Because Tess says feels the same feeling. He will save. Astralis make this a one round game. Well done from Device. Because if Nerds had managed to cut off that bomb in rotation. Stair was low. Yeah, he has the space. But they need to get the bomb successfully there. Big moment for Device. Astralis almost walk into that stack. Tess has two kills from a common angle too. Should have been traded for sure when he swings out wide. This is now a T side that's respectable. Five. Chance for six. Can't believe Kaden gets away with murder here on Kicksan. He's just so blind. He has no right to get that frag. Astralis are finding these little pockets of air in the defense of Heroic. That's now twice on A. Elbow smoke's missed. And Stare will just about profit off it. He even gets out. And Stare, there we go. Again, just a fast acceleration. The kill on Dexter and Donut. This should be Astralis tying us up. Yeah, I was going to keep them occupied here for so long. Bomb takes its time to be planted, so Heroic will be able to rotate players. But it's still a three on five, despite three players being so low. Vice is up, finds the shot on net, down, tucked into the corner, can't quite convert, but Cadian's there for the quick trade, kicks in. You don't fancy his chances, especially fully blinded. Astralis shows their T side still does exist. Six on Ancient.
Much better from Astralis on that T side. They even up 6-6 six, six here. And they need to take Ancient. Playoff spot on the line for a chance to play in front of the crowd in Rio. Losing this best of three does not mean elimination, but it means a tough gauntlet in that lower... Wings. Although certainly beatable <laughs> with what we've seen from them so far. Heroic would like to confirm that spot with a win on Ancient and Stown towards first blood. Good damage. They are able to get the space onto site. Kicksand goes for the bomb plant and will secure it. Limited utility here from Astralis. No smokes. Apart from one that has just been thrown out in towards cave. They have to wait for them to fade. No flash. It has to be pure contact. Dexter on the boost. Kick sand tucked in. And you've still got this molly play. Shush is going to wait until the time elapses. Until everyone from Heroic is taken down. And then he can drop the flames. There comes the molly. Look at that. No kid either. A single Molotov. Oh, Dexter does it anyway. Between Shush and Dexter. Clean sweep. Heroic, take the pistol. They didn't even need the molly, I don't think. Uh, and for Astralis, they were pushing down just to try and prevent that. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Two kills secured anyway. The, the players in towards Cave. The fact that they were boosted over the top of the smoke. Dexter's taking the, the contact. And it's the players that can swarm out from beneath it. Under lock and key is the B-bomb site for Heroic on that pistol round. And the force back in from Astralis. No rifles, just MP9s. And a brilliant flash to set up testers for the opener. Instantly traded, and Astralis have got B. A flying kill. Cadian's going to need some help. But Heroic are really slow. Stair will arrive. There comes the smoke. They're just going to commit through. Nice headshot. Does a lot of damage. So much damage. Cadian capitalizes on one. Stair with another. Whittling them down, but Stalin also brought low. And it's Dexter's rifle, it's Nerds with his signature MP7. Finishing that job. Double up in CT. A swing out, Dexter converts, and now you know where Stair is. Nerds hits the headshot, and again, it's those two, Dexter and Nerds. Yeah, Astralis feel like they've got to force the issue there, especially with the MP7 getting the kill in towards Temple. They think, if we can isolate a fight, if we can make this a 2v1 between us, we'll be able to trade out effectively. But instead, it goes the upper, other way. It's the weaponry advantage here for Heroic, and it's that dynamic duo, as you said. A little bit of space created now between these two parties. That was the force by out of Astralis, so this round's an eco. And Heroic can inflict more pressure onto Astralis. Face first Liquid kicking off shortly on the A stream as well. That's going to be a really exciting match. That's an elimination match. Not expected necessarily for FaZe. Although recent round of form we know hasn't been the best. It wouldn't be phased if they didn't make the group stages a little tricky. Lock smoke gives down a, a little bit of room. The shots blindly through the smoke aren't connecting either. And a break on it allows Heroic and Tessez into the site for free. It did look a little bit complicated there, especially when there's three players lying in wait. It's once again... Tess says to do the damage. Kicksand following up on the MAC-10. Safe and secure for Heroic. And Yabby might not even be allowed the luxury of saving the SMG. I don't think he really wants to either. He'd love to take an exit kill, get some extra money. Even still, he has enough to drop the AWP to device. But a good start for Heroic through the second half. Within touching distance of playoffs. No warp is a big miss as well for Astralis in this round. Dexter doesn't have his. And for Heroic, there's one destination in mind. It is Fast A. 
And where Astralis had three players over towards B to start with. I don't think they'll get here in time. The Vice will at least find Tessez and there's rotates on the way from Donut. I'm surprised they didn't buy the orb, but he makes the M4 work and Gabby catches Kicksand. Just enough room on that smoke. Device is punished on the reswing. Astralis have the advantage. They have them locked in. Well, they realize that there is a possible exit through A main, so I think a flank is looking like it's on the cards. The smoke lands in Donut, and they know that's not going to be the destination. How do those bullets not connect? Somehow, Heroic get the bomb down. But with this double flank in A main, it feels like this is short lived. Stown walks through the temple. Shush on a good angle for it, and then you have the swing possible. Dexter out wide does win his fight. The second player now pushing, but through the smoke comes Stare and gets nothing for it. Nerds known. Yabby, no way. He doesn't stick that. Sees Nerds on the jiggle and he's just playing with him. Teasing him, but it's Yabby. That's the true tease. We'll get Astralis their first CT round with a quad kill and a push through main. And it needs to be that individual effort from Yabby because that round was falling apart from Astralis. There was a failed CT smoke in the mix there that prevents them from scaling out towards default. They had to wait for that one to fade. But it's the second element. It's the second player. Out of Donut. And then Reback into A main. Well worked from Yabby. Nurt just couldn't play his time around the box. But that is Heroic threatening early. They will be aggressive. They will get up in your face. And they won't mind that it comes so close. Because the buy is still going to be brittle here for the CT side. Definitely no AWP afforded to device. That's crazy because that round looks so good for Heroic until Yabby happened. Now it's the virtue of the double push. Yeah, Dexter wins out that first fight, which felt a little unreasonable considering his HP. But then you're not expecting Yabi, who doubles down. Nerds out middle. Nice kill. Smoke actually eliminates the flames Ow. and he gets out. But look at Stown. All these players are grouping here for Heroic. And Stown has the chance to line them up, but he gets knocked down by Dexter. Scaling now are heroic on towards B. Wants to utilize the space and Stair can't find anything. How has that happened? The bomb will at least get disrupted temporarily, but it won't matter because heroic find all the kills. Betrayed by the MP9. If Stair has an M4, you know that's guaranteed and maybe more. That's fast from heroic. Nerds gets an opening in middle. And then Stown feels the pressure to push down, gets his first kill, almost a second, but didn't know that player was low through the smoke. And then Dexter just opens up the bomb site. Heroic collapse on Astralis, and it has broken their backs. Has to be the eco. That was even with Astralis trying to set the tempo. That was them taking the fight to Heroic, even finding the opening kill. I just don't think they expected the reaction. As soon as the space was reclaimed by Heroic, they just accelerate. And Shush deals with the Vice, who looked to go on a lurk through a main. Cadian's got a flash to set up these players, but again, Heroic are ahead of this. Now Tessa's already out, flashes over the top, but it does not affect him one bit. Had a quiet mirage, but has had some good rounds here on Ancient. I think we'll catch one in the middle with the P250, so a gun he can recover. This is going to be 11 for Heroic, two away from playoffs. A match with Vitality. What a journey that would be for Heroic. Making it to the playoffs, playing in front of a crowd. At full strength with their roster. And for Astralis, 
They've still got opportunities in this game. Do not count them out by a long shot. But it feels like it's this gun round or bust. And they can't deal currently with the pace changes of Heroic. And how consistent they've been at re-executing onto space that Astralis have previously taken. And it's not the fact that it is them doing that, it's the speed of which they do that. So tough for Astralis to react and respond. 30 seconds cooled as a little bit of a breather. Device will wield the AWP. And it's Dexter that remains on the rifle. Yeah, Heroic have the opportunity to upgrade if they want to. I mean, Tessas can get rid of the Mac 10. They, they could opt to get the AWP out or even another rifle, but... Could just be they decide to call Disrupt Astralis, who have just called this timeout. They've just discussed how they want to get back into this game. They've got all their rifles. Rogue lean heavy towards B. All five members going this direction. They want the shelf control. They're going to completely just ignore mid for the time being. Device in the right place at the right time. Heroic look to scale again, and it doesn't even matter if they're flashed. Stown tries to trade out shelf, but he can't do it. It's kicked down the IGL for Heroic at the helm of all of it. And just like that, Heroic are going to find series point. Yeah, you can just see the inevitability of that hit with the space that Astralis had. All of those X's disjointed from each other. Kadian, will he get a chance to save? Feels unlikely. Heroic has everything that they can throw at him. Don't want to give him a chance, though. Is there a kiss? No, okay. He's looking for another kill long. Doesn't find it. Serious point established for Heroic. Tessa's flying around corners. Kicks in, removing everybody in the lane. Thought the T side was going to be the struggle for this iteration of Astralis has been more often than not, but it's the CT side that's not delivering right now. It's all because of the cooling uh, of Kicksan. You've got to give a lot of credit here to Heroic's in game leader because he's making it impossible for Astralis to even have a say into what's happening into the round. It's so intrusive, it's so in your face. And they don't even care about the utility. There's good counter flashes thrown in place by Heroic. So if someone's blind on the site, well, guess what? You're all blind. And then by the end of it, Heroic, they're already right in your face. It's too much to handle. Something's got to change. You ever fight fire with fire or you go incredibly passive and you just sit back. No option feels like the right one. But five chances for Heroic to close. The five chances for Astralis to feel a lot more competitive. Ooh. They've gone past each other in the smoke. And whilst Nurt will start to ascend, it'll be what kicks out to get the kill? Really? Really? Device at least will remove Tessas. Now you know where that orb is. Although it's not felt like the biggest threat, to be fair. Down gets a good push. He even gets the headshot onto Dexter, so a lot of damage done. Scary position for Device to play around. This smoke shot is anticipating. Saw the edge of it and thought, yeah, someone's going to try and take advantage of this. And meanwhile, Kicksan just walks into B. In Cadian's head. Good night. Yabby, 1v3 required, and Heroic can go anywhere right now. And Yabby sees that they're going to be. Harsh reality setting in for Astralis that Heroic have been one step ahead. His entire T side on Ancient. The HP is low. This is potentially workable with no utility. And no clue of where these players are. It just gets tougher and tougher. Molly lands in his face. 
Wants the element of surprise for this first kill. Slops the AK at least. A little bit of something to work with, but Dexter doesn't miss his shot. Heroic take down Cadian's Astralis. Tessis and Shush get a little bit of a sweet revenge over that former squad. Said that there wasn't bad 